What's up, gang? It's Ryan from Ruck Doc Beer. I am here taking a first look at the Go Ruck Kettlebell Sandbag. Uh, personally, I love kettlebells. I work out at a CrossFit gym and love any work that involves a kettlebell swing uh, or anything going on with a kettlebell in general. Um, so I'm excited to take a look at this product and see how uh, it compares to just a traditional kettlebell and what all could be done with it. As we take a look at the kettlebell sandbag, first thing you'll notice is we do have some nice Goruck branded embroidery on the front. On the sides, you'll see that there is a weight indicator. This is the 44 pound uh, sand, kettlebell sandbag. Uh, obviously, it being a product that uses sand, you could fill it up with less and make it a lighter kettlebell. Uh, so adds a little bit of versatility to it. Uh, of course, uh, it is a Goruck product, so all the stitching is pretty bulletproof on this, and it is made to be durable. Um, you'll also, uh, similar to other Goruck products like the sandbag and the simple sandbag, is that the handle is uh, crazy nice in that it's got that nice piece of neoprene in there that is wrapped in the webbing uh, and then stitched together. So when you go to grab this thing, it's got this nice little like rubberized feel to it. You're able to squeeze it and really get a good grip. It feels good in the hand, uh, but then it's got that nice webbing outer, uh, which helps with grip um, and holding on to it. So it is a good looking, well put together piece of gear as we would come to expect from GORUCK. Uh, to get the sand in, this is kind of interesting checking this out. Uh, I feel like the first thing you need to do is get this handle out of the way. So I have kind of roll it back in order for us to get to the top here. And as you see, there is this half circle zipper here. Uh, I will also note, if you look, the, there's a little pocket for the zipper to tuck up into. This is nice as you think about having your hands here and swinging the kettlebell, the potential for knuckles to kind of drag against that zipper. Uh, having this little zipper cover here is a nice touch. So we've got this half moon zip here. And then we kind of fold this back and we're encountered with yet another way to keep the sand in your kettlebell. And that is with this double Velcro enclosure. Uh, similar to their old filler bags, this is a double Velcro enclosure. So we've got one strip of Velcro, keeping sand in and then a second set of Velcro. So then we then can fill in this kettlebell with a bunch of sand. Once the sand's in there, you're going to squeeze it together. You're going to fold it over. You're going to tuck it in. We're going to zip it back up, get the handle back in place, and she will be ready to rock and roll. And that being said, I'm going to take this bad boy out, fill it up with some sand, put it through a little workout and come back and let you know what I think. All right, so 44.4 pounds is what we got in here. Uh, it is amazing how much sand this thing can actually hold. Uh, obviously I had to empty out one of my 40 pounders plus a little bit more, uh, but one of the things is that if you look, like the sand is all the way up at the top here. So I've had to kind of pound it down. And I don't even know if I can get this thing closed. Let's see. So one closure, two closures. It's folded down. Let's loosen up this handle. Bring that around. Try and compact the sand a little bit. Zip around. My goodness, it's going to fit. What do you know? A little bit of trouble. There we go. Get that thing up in there. Ooh, baby. Dude, this thing 
as a little beast. Fully packed. Uh, as I added the sand, I kept wondering if it's actually going to fit. And multiple times, as you saw, I had to kind of tamp it down. But I'll be darned if it doesn't actually hold 44 pounds of sand. So let's go do a little workout. All right, so just got done playing around with the 44 pound Goruk sandbag kettlebell. Did a few different movements. Did both American and Russian kettlebell swings. Uh, did a single arm swing there. Uh, did some snatches, some cleans, some jerks. And a couple things I really liked. Felt really good in my hand. Again, sandbag. Uh, handles with Goruk, always super comfortable, felt really good. It was an interesting sensation as I swung to have there be a little bit of give and elasticity in the kettlebell as opposed to something that's extremely static. Um, so it just gave it a different feel as I was going through the range of motion. Um, all the movements felt good. Uh, this being a 44 pounder with sand, it is significantly bigger than a traditional kettlebell. So this kettlebell is uh, 28 kilos, so just under 62 pounds. So 62 pounds, 44 pounds. You can see that this is much bigger. Um, that does make it a little bit awkward when I went for the, for the jerks from the shoulder to overhead uh, because it's just so big, it sits high on the shoulder. So the range of motion is a little bit diminished from something like a kettlebell that's going to sit lower and give you a more range of motion. Um, it was also interesting on the kettlebell swings. Again, when you've got a kettlebell, it's nice and rigid. When you go overhead, the kettlebell stands in your hand. Uh, whereas this, once I got overhead, the, the, the weight of the bag actually kind of rests on your knuckles. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, it's just a different sensation than what I'm used to with the metal kettlebells. Um, as for a verdict, I think it's a great piece of gear. Um, I received this from Goruk prior to release, so at the time of this video, I don't even know what the price point is the, uh, on, on this uh, sandbag kettlebell is. But I do know that uh, metal kettlebells are typically going for at least two dollars per pound so uh, easily you're in an for a 44 pound uh, metal kettlebell you're easily in the 80 80 dollar range um, so it'll be interesting to see where that price point comes in for the sandbag if it's less i think this is an excellent addition to uh, garage gym or to your goruck sandbag training um, because the price point is great. Kettlebell swings are an amazing dynamic movement. Uh, um, Turkish get-ups, uh, lots of variety that you can add in here. Of course, you could probably do many of these movements with your ruck, but again, it's a, it's a great opportunity to add variety. It's something that is easily packable. Say you're going to the beach on vacation, pack this bad boy up and bam, you got this, you got your ruck. Maybe you take a a simple sandbag with you and you've got all that you need for for a, a, a lifetime of fitness um, so that's it if you've got any questions about the sandbag kettlebell drop them in the comment section of this video or the blog post and we'll do our best to get answers to you all right have fun